Hey everybody, Alex from Android Central here with a special first look at the HTC Sensation XL. This is HTC's new 4.7 inch monster phone. It's the first phone designed from the ground up around Beats Audio and as you'd expect it also runs HTC Sense, uh, which you see right here. We've got the world clock uh, as usual. The clock's a little smaller on the Sensation XL just on the account of the larger screen. But you've got the same awesome weather effects that we've seen on Sense 3.0 devices before so that's fantastic. So let's begin our tour by taking a quick look into the app drawer. As you can see, you've got three tabs down the bottom for switching between different app lists. So you can switch between frequent and downloaded apps or just view all apps in a list. We'll take a look at some of the new apps later in the video, but right now we're just gonna head into the customization area. And just like you'd expect from a Sense device, tons of customization options. So as well as the usual home screen wallpaper and uh, icon and widget changes, you can also add lock screen shortcuts just like on the original sensation and uh, as you'd expect there are a bunch of theming and skinning options in there as well. Now you might have noticed that things look a little bit different on the sensation XL compared to Sense 3.0 devices like the Evo 3D and the original sensation. That's because it's running a new version of Sense, it's Sense 3.5 on here uh, that's running on top of Android 2.3 gingerbread. And this is a relatively minor update to Sense, it's not a massive change, so everything still looks more or less the same. But there seem to have been quite a few changes behind the scenes to improve performance, particularly in the launcher, which is a really welcome change. So moving on, we're going to take a look at the physical hardware itself. It's uh, quite a slim device, it's 9.9mm. .9 um, we've got all the usual buttons in all the usual places. And we've got an 8 megapixel camera around the back, which has an f2.2 lens, um, which HTC says should improve performance in low light. Next up, taking a look in the browser, um, pretty much the normal Sense 3.0 browser. Uh, buttons are slightly rearranged and uh, you've got text labels under them. As you can see, we're having a few Wi-Fi issues there, so we're probably not going to be able to load Android Central. What we can do though is take a look at HTC Watch, which is on this device as well, first seen on the Sensation. Nothing preloaded on there, but then you wouldn't expect it on pre-release software. This is the usual store interface, but because we're having some Wi-Fi issues, that's not loading right either. So uh, just going to head back to the home screen and we can check out um, the usual carousel effect that's back in Sense 3.5. And it's an awful lot smoother than it is in the earlier version of Sense. So one of our biggest complaints with the original Sensation was that the launcher was slow and kind of jerky and it's much, much smoother. And that's even more impressive when you consider that this thing isn't running a dual core CPU. It's a 1.5 gigahertz single core uh, Snapdragon in here. In terms of RAM, you've got 768 megs on board and uh, about 500 or so of that is available for app usage, which I think is more than enough. So let's take a look at some of the new apps. And we've got a note-taking app here, which is new on, uh, on HTC phones. We've seen it before on the flyer, but um, this is the first phone-based version that we've uh, come across so far. And just like the version on the flyer, you can take notes using text, using drawings, uh, and also recordings from either the microphone or the camera. We've also got the familiar feature-packed HTC notification area with uh, app switching at the top, quick settings on the right, um, and you've also got the quick connection area which is new in Sense 3.5, that's at the top. Something else which is new is this usage monitor app, lets you keep track of mobile data usage, uh, also text and calls, so uh, if you're on a, a monthly allowance for any of those then that could be really useful. We've seen this before on uh, a lot of third-party apps, but it's great to see something preloaded that lets you keep track of all three. So while we're talking about new stuff, we've just accidentally discovered a new feature here. There's this uh, animated effect when you switch from portrait to landscape that activates in certain apps. Uh, the iPhone did it first, of course, but we've also seen it on honeycomb tablets and a few other devices. But the effect is really cool and it does give an extra bit of polish to the user experience, which is always good. So the next feature we're going to take a look at is the redesigned camera app in Sense 3.5. I'm going to fire it up right here and um, it's pretty familiar, but, but there have been quite a few behind the scenes changes to speed up the process of uh, taking pictures and videos and of course the, uh, the new f2.2 lens helps with that a bit as well. And here you can see this neat distortion effect that's applied in real time, that's one of the new effects. Uh, I've also got the pixelate effect which we've uh, seen on other phones and tablets before. Um, we've also got a fair selection of uh, photo options including panoramic which we're going to take a look at now. Uh, this is on the HTC Titan as well. 
and it works by taking a series of pictures as you pan the phone from side to side and then it stitches all those into one uh, wider panoramic image. So as you can see here we're going to slowly pan across the room and um, when it's finished crunching some numbers we'll get a uh, lovely wide angle view of the room which you can see right there. Anyway that about wraps up our first look video for the HTC Sensation XL. Thanks for watching and be sure to head over to androidcentral.com for more Sensation XL coverage.